Hey everyone, welcome to another WashingtonLakes.com 101 fishing video. Gringo Pescador and I are here today in his garage and we're going to show you guys how to tie a egg loop. Um, once you learn that knot, you can use it to also tie a uh, leader for things like salmon, trout, kokanee. The egg loop is really one of those knots that you need to know how to tie if you're going to be steelheading at all and you're going to use bait or shrimp or anything like that. So let's uh, show you how to tie this knot. Okay, so what I'm going to tie today, I have a size 1 hook and we've got 12 pound leader, high visibility so you can see better. So I'm right handed and uh, if you're left handed, I don't know, just reverse everything. <laughs> but I'll hold the hook in my left hand, I've got the line in my right. First thing I'm going to do, I've got about three feet of leader. I'm going to take the leader and I'm going to go through the eye of the hook and I'm going to extend it back about, oh, half an inch, an inch. And now I'm going to transfer and hold the line with my left hand, first finger and my thumb, and I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to do loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is probably about right. And you don't, when you do the loop, you want to always go behind the previous loop so you're not going over it. So everything's nice and lined up. And then I kind of pinch them together. Now I'm holding that with my left thumb and finger. I'm going to take my line with my to the end of the leader with my right hand. And here's the tricky part. I'm going to put this in through the hole, through the eyelid. And now we're going to run this all the way through. And we're going to get to the point where we have a loop that's just a little bigger than your hand. If you can see that. Now once again, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to transfer over and I'm going to grab that line that I just ran through and I'm going to hold that up against the shank of the hook. And now I take this on my left hand, I take this little guy that's sticking out, this loop here, and here's the tricky part. We're going to loop over on itself. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And you see how I'm kind of spinning that around my my hand as I loop it? And when you get really good, you'll be able to just fly through that. And again, you do about eight loops. Now, you see how that's looped over on itself like that? Now I'm going to take and hold these ends of the loop. And I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to pull this line through. Now it's a little twisty, but as you go through, it's going to come through on itself. And voila, there we go. Just like that. I'm going to lick this and get it a little wet. And I'm going to take and I'm going to tighten it down. Now what I like to do if I'm tying a lot of these, I'm going to take my scissors or forceps or whatever and I'm going to hold this and give it a little cinch. It's really important to wet it and then give it that tightening cinch because now that will tighten up on itself and that is not going to go anywhere. That will hold, hold your fish. So now you've got your beautiful little egg loop here all ready to go. I'm going to take this tail end here. And I'm going to cut that down at about a quarter of an inch, and there you go. So that is your basic egg loop tie with your loop right there. Now, you could do things like put in a little bit of yarn into that loop. You could tie a half hitch into the piece of yarn, and that would be make it very easy to pull it out. Um, but let's tie a leader. So that's the back hook if you were tying a leader. And let's say you wanted to put something in between, like maybe a glow ball, um, a little glow corky, or a glow bead. Well, we're going to take our bead, we're going to run it into our leader, and now it's on the inside like so. Then we're going to take our second hook, and once again, we're going to run the leader through the eyelid of the hook. I'm going to take this all the way to where we want it to be. Now you can line up your hooks so they're very close to each other. You can line them up a little farther apart depending on what the application is. Um, 
exactly what you're going to use it for. I do a lot of kokanee fishing and I've been tying up number four hooks and I like to tie them pretty close but we'll go about like so. Once again I use my left hand, uh, index and thumb to hold that line in place. Now I take my right hand and loop around three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come over now, see there's my loops, come over with my left hand, grab hold of that, go to the end of my line again, let's see what I'm doing, once again I'm going through that eyelid, and again I'm going to run it right about just a little bigger than my hand, the final loop here, it's just a little bigger than my hand, take my right first finger and thumb, now I'm going to grab this line that I ran through, and I'm going to grab the other line that's looped up. Okay, now with two hooks, there's no difference, but you got to, now you got to go through both of them. So it's going to be one, two, three. Do you see how I'm letting that line go over my hand? Kind of using that like a whippet tool, I guess. And I get about eight. Once again, I do the transfer. And I'm going to pull this through. And again, I'll wet that a little bit. I'm going to take my scissors, give it a little cinch, not too hard, because you can actually break the line if you do it too hard. But there you go, now you've got an egg loop on here too. So now I've got two hooks in tandem, and I've got a glow ball in between, a bead in between, whatever. So, that is it. That is all you need to do. It's a little tricky the first couple times you do it, you feel like you're all thumbs. But after you've practiced a few times, you'll just be able to fly through these and you won't have to go to the store and pay a buck, buck and a half per liter to, tie, to have them pre-tied. You'll be able to tie them yourself. Um, there is another way of tying this forward first hook so that it slides up and down the leader. Um, like, uh, for example, if you were salmon fishing with herring and you wanted to adjust the leader length um, for the size of your herring. I'll be honest, I don't know how to tie it. Um, so those ones I buy. But for fixed um, tandem hooks, this is it. This is all you got to do. And this works great for kokanee. Now I would be using size 4 if I was tying a leader for kokanee, but then I would just put my hoochie or whatever it was I was going to fish in front of that, and I would be all set to go. So. Uh, give us some practice and I think you'll find before you know it you'll be tying these with no problem.